a sassy man apocalypse. These men want flowers. These men want to paint their nails. These men want to be courted. So baby, if I need a snip or a nip or a tuck, I'm going to get it. I just woke up one day and I just kind of felt like it's time for a new chapter. I just want to do something different. Mm -hmm. It's your girl Chi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make beauty lifestyle and vlog type of content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me on all of my social media platforms. I will have all the links in the description box down below. Alright y'all, I don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm just so awkward. Like, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hey! How y'all doing? I haven't made a YouTube video in damn near a year y'all and that's so crazy to me i feel like really awkward in front of the camera but we gonna warm up and get back into it so today's video i wanted to do a life update i didn't want to just pop back on youtube just putting out any type of video without updating you guys on everything that has happened in the past year that i haven't been filming so here we are quick little life update video i have everything that i want to talk about in my phone so if you see me looking down at my phone it's just some random topics that i chose that i want to share with you guys so let's go ahead and get started so to start off the life update, I just want to tell you guys that your girl finally got a job. Back in 2021, I got my master's degree in cybersecurity. And baby, when I tell you, I grabbed that degree and thought I was going to get a job like this. The job hunting process was a very difficult time period of my life because dealing with applying and interviewing and constant rejection was so foreign to me. I've never had to work so hard in my life. So after a seven month long process of looking for a job, I finally found the perfect job at my current company as an information security engineer. And I just am so happy. I'm so grateful. First of all, I love the company I work for. I love my manager. I love all of my coworkers. My company is so diverse. I'm learning so much. And I'm also implementing all of the things that I learned while I was getting my degree. And honestly, it just feels so good to be an important asset of a team and just work together to do great things. Like y'all don't understand, I love my job. It brings me so much joy. And I know right now that the job market is trash and I know so many of you guys are interviewing and going through a hard time trying to find jobs. And I just wanna say have faith and don't give up and definitely just trust in God's timing. It's not easy, you have bills to pay, you have difficulties that you're facing, but trust in God and trust in his timing. It just honestly takes off so much stress from your life to where you can really think clearly, focus, and execute a proper game plan. So yeah, um, the next thing I want to talk about, y'all, is plastic surgery. I feel like, who would I be if I don't talk about some plastic surgery? Because this channel at one point was Slick, a BBL channel, and I'm not mad at y'all. Like, I know y'all want to know what's going on with the bootay. Like, if I were y'all, I would want to know what's going on with the bootay, too. I got a BBL and 360 lipo back in 2021. So I think it's been almost like two to three years. And I honestly, I do love my results. I will say if you're contemplating getting your body done, research is key. I got my body done at 305 Plastic Surgery in Miami by Dr. Williams. I think the most important thing when you get your body done is having a doctor that is comfortable with telling you no. Dr. Williams is one doctor who's not gonna put a crazy body on you. He's gonna give you proportion. Like you're gonna have a very nice shape and hips and waist and butt. And it's just going to look very natural, proportionate, and honestly very womanly and beautiful. I think he's very good at sculpting a woman's body, so I definitely recommend him if you're interested. And honestly, I'm so grateful that my doctor just did not put a huge butt on me. So, y'all know I'm very honest and I'm very truthful, you guys. Your girl definitely wants to get more plastic surgery in the future. When I get married and my husband puts a ring on this finger, in our marriage contract, I needed to say that... I want a full mommy makeover and I need it in writing that you're going to pay for it and you're going to take care of me and all that stuff because I am not playing. One thing about me, I love looking good and not because of society, but just the way that it makes me feel. So maybe if I need a snip or a nip or a tuck, I'm going to get it. Absolutely. And I want my man to pay for it. As he should. I just pushed out all of your kids. It's the least you could do, you know? <laughs> So yeah, I'm definitely pro mommy makeover if I end up needing it in the future. The only thing that I can say that I kind of want, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I am the biggest filler hater. Like if you follow me on Twitter, I'm constantly saying don't get filler, don't get filler, don't get filler. Every day I see different girls, especially black women, like lately black women have been really getting lip filler because before it was mostly like white women who used to get lip filler and Botox and all those things, but now black women are getting more into it. And just seeing all of them getting their lips done, like I'd be like, ooh, that looks good. Do I want a little 0.5? But honestly, I'm not going to get it. My lips are already full and one of my biggest rules for myself is to never play with my face. So yeah. 
all right love so next let's get into my love life honestly i do enjoy sharing my love life with you guys because in the comments y'all are so supportive and y'all always give me like your two cents and things that you've experienced and compare your stuff to my stuff and i really like that and y'all also give me great advice too so let me share my freaking crazy love life with you guys i really only dated two guys last year and we'll talk about the both of them so i'm just gonna start this off saying it is so hard being a lover girl in a generation of men who fear commitment it is so difficult it is so frustrating and honestly i'm just fed up guys i got so into wanting to be married it really took over my whole brain and i was about to settle with guy number one and it's just so crazy when i look back on it because I really realized we were not compatible at all like we literally were not compatible at all and we did have like good times but when I look back we were not compatible like he didn't do any of the type of things that I liked he wasn't that funny he was also such a bad communicator and honestly if a man is a bad communicator he really just doesn't like you on paper to me he looked really good he had a good job he was at the age where he should be considering marriage and on top of that like he had goals for his future and stuff so i'm like okay this is perfect like on my head i'm like okay cool you know we're dating right now i really want to be married like shit let's just make it work and i was forcing it baby because so many times i used to sit back and think like we don't even laugh <laughs> I had to ask myself why are you so pressed to be married that you're gonna settle for less than what you deserve and when I really asked myself like you're really gonna settle for what less than what you deserve that's when I kind of had the epiphany because me personally I grew up in a two-parent household my parents were in love they were best friends they were business partners and they raised me and my siblings so amazingly like I really look up to their relationship and I really just want that for myself and I'm not gonna lie sometimes I lose hope in this generation because these niggas y'all are so sassy we are in a sassy man apocalypse these men want flowers these men want to paint their nails these men want to be courted and it's so crazy to me like that's not how it's supposed to go and because I guess I was just raised in such traditional values I'm just really looking for that in a man and I don't want to sit here and say that it's impossible because nothing's impossible for God for one I want my person I want to be happy I want to laugh I want to get money together I want to have a family you know what I'm saying so I had to really like snap myself out of it and be like girl you are putting too much emphasis on getting married you just need to date and you need to chill and just have fun honestly my goal is just to enjoy the season that i'm in and not put too much stress on when i'm going to be married that doesn't mean that i'm just dating around and i'm not dating intentionally but i definitely don't want to put so much pressure on myself because baby there's no way i'm about to marry a man who is not for me and i really don't want to get a divorce ever in life so i just need to chill <laughs> So yeah, now that I had gotten out of that, I had a whole new mindset, whole new vibe for dating. And that's how we get into guy number two. So guy number two, y'all, we had actually been cool for like years, which is crazy because I didn't realize we had been cool for as long as we were just through social media. And then we just started talking and it was so easy. It was so chill. Um, we just clicked really well. And, I, and let me preface this by saying that guy number one was a Virgo and I'm a Sag. That was never going to work and I should have known that. But guy number two is an Aries and I'm a Sag so that's actually like my perfect match it is a lot of fire which is why we are where we are not talking we'll say when it was good it was good not even when it was good it was good when it was good it was great like I actually really liked him and we actually got along so well until we just damn 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 like when I tell y'all that man actually cut me off I feel like our problem is we're so much alike because the way he cut me off is the same way I cut niggas off every day. Just because something is not that serious to me doesn't mean that it's not serious to that other person. So I definitely needed to learn that lesson. Whatever is meant to be will be. So I'm not about to stress anything anymore because it's just not good for my health. Take it back to God's timing and God's plan. I just feel like whoever's my future boyfriend, my future husband, God has a plan. So I just need to focus on him and just keep faith. I refuse to settle and I refuse to stress over somebody's son, okay? y'all my battery's about to die but i just want to give you guys one more update breaking news surprise your girl is moving i am so excited so happy so blessed if you guys didn't know i moved back home back in 2018 and i've actually been home since and honestly being home has been such a blessing i definitely recommend it if you don't live in a toxic household Y'all, I'm sorry guys, so much is going on. My brother literally just walked into the house. He lives in Tennessee. Also, he's in the NFL now. He's going into his third year as a Tennessee Titan. Y'all, I have to wrap up this video really quick because the house is very quickly becoming full of people. That's why your girl is moving. No, I'm kidding, that's not why, but I'm excited to be moving. Um, what else? 
what was I saying? Oh, okay. I was saying if you can live at home, live at home, save your money, pay off your debt, pay off student loans, travel, 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 travel. So if you can, I would say live at home until you can do anything that you want to do. But baby, I just woke up one day and I just kind of felt like it's time for a new chapter. I just want to do something different. And I've also never lived alone. I've never lived solo in my entire life. So I was like, okay, I just need to have this time to really get to know who I am by myself. So I feel like this is just going to be such a great learning experience. Also paying bills. I am nervous about paying bills, but I do want that independence and that responsibility. And I'm really just feeling so blessed. And and so optimistic about this new journey and all the things that are coming and I'm so grateful to God and I'm just trusting in his plan and yeah baby y'all already know the content finna go up my goal for this year is to be really consistent as a content creator so that's YouTube Instagram TikTok Twitter all of it so make sure that you are supporting me I love you guys so much I'm always running into subscribers and you guys are always messaging me on Instagram Twitter everywhere on TikTok too telling me that you miss my vlogs you miss my videos so guys I am back I really really need your support and I'm also very grateful for all of your support so love you guys so much have a blessed day bye guys